Located in the heart of Europe, Slovakia is bordered by Austria, Hungary, Ukraine, Poland, and Czech Republic. The modern country of Slovakia was born in 1993, when Czechoslovakia separated into the Czech and Slovak republics. In 2004, Slovakia entered the European Union, but economic development has been accompanied by the growth of drugs, alcohol, sexual promiscuity, religious cults, and high unemployment. International Needs Slovakia exists to win people to Christ by sharing the gospel while at the same time helping people with practical needs. The 3P Community Center in Lutrinitz is its headquarters and is an effective tool for outreach. Most Slovak children and teens do not have an understanding of the true God. To help meet this need, we organize summer English camps. Each year, approximately 500 children and teenagers are a part of our English camps. Because of the negative influences on teenagers and the lack of positive role models, we also offer free time activities such as coffee houses, discussion clubs, and various programs in the local high schools. The Komenio Spiritual Retreat and Conference Center in Rochkova Dolina has been in the process of being renovated for some time now. The building was originally built by Slovak Christians as a place for spiritual renewal and ministry, but it fell into disrepair when it was taken by the communists after World War II. The building was returned to Christians as part of the post-communist restitution process. International Needs Slovakia now uses this building for conferences and community outreaches. Funds are needed to complete the reconstruction so that the center can continue providing a place for relaxation, spiritual training, evangelistic outreach, and marriage and other seminars. I grew up in family they not believe in God. As a teenager, I had a hard time with depressions, alcohol, drugs, and I wanted to die. I was in camp here in Rajkola Dolina, and I opened my heart to God, and He saved me. And now I have Father, He gives me peace. The Slovak government gives three years of maternity leave to new mothers. For many women, these are years of frustration, isolation, and a longing to find someone who understands their struggles as new mothers. In response to this need, we have started Mothers Clubs, which provide practical help through mentoring, childcare, English classes, and opportunities for friendship. A large number of moms with small children are coming to Mothers Club. Sometimes we are serving more than 80 people weekly. We are praying they will make personal decisions for Jesus Christ as well. The unemployment rate in our area is 24%. Many people are faced with poverty. Most of them are Roma, an ethnic minority in Europe, sometimes known as gypsies. Long-term unemployment often leads to alcoholism, drugs, crime, spousal abuse, and despair. But through the power of Christ, lives have been changed and families renewed. We provide counseling and assistance finding work. The Tsinobanya Ministry to the Roma people is an effort to help people who are outcast in many ways. The ministry provides a safe place for children, teens, and adults to spend time. International Needs Slovakia provides creative programs and Bible studies with the goal of reaching these people for Jesus Christ. Growing up, my life was dark and without hope, filled with alcohol, drugs and sexual abuse. I tried to die, but somehow never could. Then by God's grace, someone told me of Christ's love and how He can forgive me. Jesus not only saved me, but has given me the joy of leading others to Him. By helping people in practical ways, we build bridges for sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Our vision is to continue building bridges that will connect the heart of Europe with the heart of God. We are grateful for God's grace and His work in Slovakia. It is so exciting to see the Lord change lives. Thank you very much for all of you who have been early partnering with us 
in this exciting ministry. There are many who haven't heard the good news of salvation. International Needs Slovakia is faithfully ministering to these people. We pray that you will consider partnering with us in this unique ministry.